from wherever you are. I'm Tammy Petrocelli from Newark, Delaware, uh, USA, Eastern Standard Time, the East Coast. How are you today? I'm hoping that everyone has survived uh, Mercury in retrograde. And as soon as that's over, the full moon, and you're ready to move forward with the end of this year. So what did you need to do this year? What was your numerology for this year? So um, I just want to say that there's a real quick numerology thing that you can do um, to tell you what year you are in, okay? So you take your birth month and day, you add that, and then down to a single number, and then you add six because we are 2022, that makes this a six year. So my birthday is January 20th. So I'm going to add the one and the two and then the six. And that gives me six, seven, eight, nine. I am in a nine year. And that is the year of completion. The year of let's finish up things that we planned before. Let's get ready to put um, ourselves in a position to move forward because next year starting january 1st i'm going to be in a one year that is going to be the year of new things of um concentrating on new starts new opportunities inspiration um concentration leadership determination um so i want to set to set the tone now for the end of october november december for what I want to do in the next year, in 2023. So that's what you need to do is find out, are you in a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine year? We always go down to a single number, one through nine, unless it's an 11, a 22, or 33. Um, those are a little bit of um, magic numbers. They're magic numbers. So uh, you can, you know, Google uh, numerology and find lots of information um, on uh, how to figure out the numbers. You know, one, like I said, is uh, new starts, independence, new opportunity, um, self-employment, um, standing alone, maybe. Uh, number two is uh, teamwork, um, partnerships, marriage, love, uh, divorce, friendships, details. Um, maybe public recogni recognition, cooperation. Uh, if you're in a three-year, uh, it's related to laughter and amusement, pleasure, making new friends, self-improvement. So if you are in a three-year, you want to really propel yourself to you know, take some classes next year, whether they're art classes or you know, going back to school. Um, it's all about good times, quick recoveries, easy money. Uh, four-year material interest, so maybe time to get some structuring done, um, you know, uh, managing your finances, creating foundations, and then uh, five-year is going to be related to promotion, sales, freedom, travel, communication, uh, changes, uh, six, domestic issues, let's concentrate on home and family, um, responsibility, learning harmony, Seven is going to be a mysticism, intuition, inner growth, examination. Um, so if you are going into a seven year or finishing a seven year, you know, take care of your health, your uh, physically and emotionally. If you are in an eight year, this is tied to influence, money, karma, action, business success, um, material objects, status, um, ego, leadership, power. If you are feeling weak and now that's your eight year, Let's go put on your big girl panties or your big boy pants and get moving. And then number nine is associated with unconditional love, reward, leadership, uh, dramatic endings, um, uh, charity, artistic and creative matters, developing um, romance, forgiveness, compassion. So I hope that gives you a little something to do after today, our talk. But I understand that I have Amber from Des Moines, Iowa. How are you, yeah. Amber? I'm good. How are you? Hi. I'm great. Thank you. Thanks for calling in today. So do you have a question for me, or would you like me to try to connect with a loved one? Yeah, I was hoping I could connect with my dad. 
Okay. okay, could I have his first name, please? It's Ricky. So repeat that, please. Ricky. Oh, Ricky. Gotcha. Yep. Okay, Ricky. All right, Ricky. And Amber. Mm. Would you understand dad passing uh, a little bit too soon? Do you understand that? He doesn't make me feel that um, he was, you know, late 70s or 80s or 90s. He makes me feel that his passing was uh, a little bit younger. Do you understand that? Yep. Okay. Um, he also makes me feel that his personality. He says, I was the fun guy. I was the fun dad. Do you understand <laughs> that? He says... Yes. Um, yeah, he made me feel that he, I'm hearing the term forever young. I'm forever young. So whether that is <laughs> conducive to his passing young or the fact that he acted younger than his age was, was that type of personality. It's really how he makes me feel. Um, yeah, he had no plans of ever getting old, even if he had lived to a hundred. Uh, you understand what I, what I'm, what I mean? Um, yep. he makes me feel that, um, uh, he, he keeps showing me outside. He doesn't show me any particular hobby, but he makes me feel that he must have liked being outside. Do you understand that? We're being in nature. Yes. Yep. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. I mean, he's not showing me like a sport or um, would he uh, either rode a motorcycle or a bike? Would this have been a little hobby of his? Yeah, he was. He had a motorcycle. Perfect. I, that's the only thing I see <laughs> is the motorcycle. And I wasn't sure if he wasn't on it. So I wasn't sure if he just meant me to say the word bike or motorcycle yeah. so that we could transition. Okay. Um, and you are you one of three daughters, please? Yes. Okay. Because he references three girls. Three girls. Um, yep. And you're all close in age. He tells me, boom, boom, yep. boom. Okay. And do you also, you're not all A names, are you? No. Okay. Because he's making me feel there's something else that's very similar um, between the three of you. Um, besides that you were all born very close um, together. Um, I just interpreted it as uh, as the name. Okay, um, Amber. He he comes in and he he really um, he doesn't show me how he passed, but he makes me feel that it was either um, uh, how at how however he passed, he was really not well at the end. You understand that? And he yeah. he says that he doesn't want you to remember him as you last saw him. He wants yeah. you to remember that young, vibrant guy who thought he was still a teenager. <laughs> yep. Now, mom is still here, correct? Yep. Yeah, because he wants to say, he gives yellow flowers. To me, yellow flowers um, is a symbol of like just saying hello and acknowledgement, um, wanting to make sure to reach out and say hello and give acknowledgement. Um, but he also shows me a rose bush. So uh, yeah. does that have to do with the name Rose? Oh, it does. Okay, thank you. No. Is that mom's name? No, he just, um, that was his favorite flower. With Who's Rose? Rose? And that was. Yeah, it was uh, his, his mom's favorite flower as well. We have our house is surrounded by rose bushes. Perfect. So he re he's just bringing that up and um, as something that you would recognize so that you have evidence yeah. to know who is here with us talking. Um, because we do this so quickly, we want to always make sure that we've got the right person. Um, and yeah. he said, I am so happy to talk to you. He said, I send you messages all the time. Do you tend to hear the Steely Dan song, Ricky, Don't Lose That Number a lot? So what song? Ricky, don't lose that number by Steely Dan. Um, I not not that I 
I'm not sure. I'll have to pay more attention. <laughs> okay. Now, if you if you don't hear that song, okay. Do not be surprised if you do now hear that song on the radio. Okay. Right. Um, because he's do you know, so if it's not a message, a way he sends you a message already, it's going to be a way that he's going to send you a message in the future so that you actually know this is dad reaching out. I'm here. Okay. okay. Um he he kind of laughs because um as he, you know, a lot of people when they when they get older, if they're called Joey or Ricky or Tommy, they want to go by Joe, Rick, or Tom. And he makes me feel like, nope, he was Ricky. Yep. He, he didn't he ask people to call, to call him Richard. Richard. Exactly. He didn't ask to be called Richard or to be called um, Rick. Um, but was his name not Richard? No. His name is Ricky. Oh, it's not Richard on the birth certificate then. No. Nope. Okay, perfect. Okay, because he's telling me that it wasn't written. You know, he was correcting me and it's like, it's not Richard, um, you know, on the birth certificate. Okay, um, Amber, I feel just so much love and excitement, such a high energy from your father. He wants to send not only love and hello to you, but also to your sisters, also so to your mother. Um, and uh, he, you know, sends you guys roses by saying, remember his mother's rose bushes, okay? Um, I hope okay. that you've enjoyed this uh, little five minutes from your dad. And thank you so much for calling in. Thank you so much. Great. You are welcome. Everybody, thank you. I will see you same time next week. And then I'm going to be in India. So let's tune in next week. All right. Thank you and have a wonderful week.